Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And yes, if you have an Apple device, it's time to check for an update once again. Apple just fixed a new zero day that is already used in attacks against iPhones and Mac computers. So this is the 11th zero day since the beginning of the year. And already they had addressed at the beginning of this month three uh, security flaws. And this one is again uh, because of WebKit, uh, which is a WebKit flaw that uh, is uh, um, still attacked in the, um, and it seems that one of the fixes might not have fixed it completely. So they had to um, generate another update to address the zero day vulnerability. So it targets iPhones, Mac computers, and iPads, and um, it is important, of course, to patch this zero day. Um, and this is a new kernel flaw, actually, uh, which is the, uh, the basic code of the system, if you want, of iOS and Mac OS that is attacked. Um, the exploit is against versions of iOS that are released before iOS 15.7.1, the company said. And of course, they could exploit and um, an unpatched device and modify sensitive kernel states, including, of course, taking the possibility of um, generating a user account that has all the admin top privileges so that they can do what they want. So if you have a Mac computer, if you have an iPad or an iPhone, uh, take the time to go and check for updates to fix the security flaw that is part once again of your devices once again nobody is safe out there every device every company every operating system has flaws and this is why you need to keep yourself up to date you enjoy my videos please subscribe you can also take the time if you want there's a little icon for thanks at the bottom of the video where you can donate a small amount of money if you think what i do is important Thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoy the videos.